I was just looking at the page for WebflowConf when I noticed something very cool right here. It's me waiting in line to get my name tag. Except that's not what I want to talk about today. This is what I want to talk about. It's a cool mouse trailing effect and I just had to know how they did it. And what surprised me is that this is created with only CSS. No JavaScript, no libraries, just pure CSS. So let's recreate that in Webflow. So the first thing we want is to add a div block. I want to give it a class. I'm going to call it box. Then I want to give it a size. And I also want to give it a color. And I want to give it a hover state with a different color. Okay, so that gives us a box that changes color when you hover. Let's wrap it in flex. Let's make sure that flex has wrap and a gap of one pixel. Let's just duplicate the box a bunch of times. Okay, that should do the trick. So now we just have a whole lot of these boxes, but they're not doing the trailing effect because we need to do two more things. First thing, we want to add a transition time. Here I'm just gonna set all properties in two seconds. That means it just takes two seconds to fade in and two seconds to fade out. But I want it to fade in instantly and then fade out slowly. So let's add a bit of custom CSS. So we create a style tag and we want to change the box class in its hover state. And we want to change the transition time of all to be zero seconds. Okay, so now the box changes color instantly, but it fades out over two seconds because that's the transition time we set. And that gives us this trailing effect. And of course, it's not limited to just the color. You could use any CSS property. So you could also combine it with a transformation like rotate. So that means that they will rotate when you move the cursor. So that's how you can play around with this effect. If you like this video, make sure to follow for more stuff. You can get the clonable linked below and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.